Ronaldo. Let's just swing once. Oh my god, I killed all four of them. What's up? See you later. The update on this animation is fire. Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are going to see if Terraria bosses can survive the Sword of the Multiverse from the Universe of Swords mod. Now this thing, this thing's pretty crazy. I'm just gonna swing it once, I'm gonna swing it towards the sky because uh, you know, I was doing some testing and I, oh my god. I was doing some testing and I accidentally swung it towards the jungle and then a bunch of bees attacked me. But let's swing it towards the sky and get ready. This, this, this is kind of a little jump scare when I first swung it. Now, if your volume wasn't maxed like mine was, that scared the hell out of me. But yeah, let's get to it. I don't know why this thing takes up half the screen like that, but let's get to it. Yeah, poor King Slime and all the pre-hard mode bosses, they're, they're about to get destroyed. Let us begin with the King Slime. I am very sorry, King Slime. This is going to hurt a little bit. All right, let's, let's see it. Okay. I don't know what I expected. We even got some stuff from the mod Sword Matter. Now this mod does have a lot of strong swords in it, but I believe this one is the strongest. I didn't really look through every single sword, but this one looked like, looked to be the strongest. And this is the one a couple people have told me to test out in these videos. But yes, let's move on to the Eye Cthulhu. I know it's daytime, but I bet we can kill him before he runs away. Boom, see you later. We get a nice little epic bass drop every single time. It's very nice. Skeletron, see you later. Queen Bee, see you later. This might be the fastest video yet right here. Brain of Cthulhu, peace out. Oh, that's a that's a one tap right there. Now, usually we got to kill the eyes on the brain, but that, that was a quick one tap. All right, after years and years, okay, maybe not years. It might actually been might have been exactly a year, maybe even two, but I finally have a corruption area on this world that isn't just this floating island over here. Let's go ahead, let's test the eater. Now, this one, I want to see if it's a one tap. Pretty damn good pretty damn good right there probably the best that any uh one tap weapons ever done uh, it does help that you know the boss was obviously stacked up right there but there you go i did it twice just for fun oh look the queen bee spawned in bro get the hell out of here all right next up we got the wall of flesh now this sword shoots out a bunch of projectiles which is why i'm assuming why this thing kind of insta kills no matter what segmented or segmented or not uh because like look at this that's at least like five six projectiles gigantic ones stacked on top of each other all right the mech bosses are up next let's go ahead and get my favorite thing to summon them in with the mechanical amalgam boom we got all three of them or i guess four of them and uh, let's just swing once oh my god i killed all four of them queen bee again get the fuck out of here all right we are in the underground jungle let's go ahead and test the golem and plantera i'm gonna swing upwards just so i don't accidentally break hives okay we're good and then let's head on down here so we can fight plantera now believe it or not I have people commenting on these videos in this series and a bunch of people will comment on them even when they're old as hell like a year almost two years old and they'll be like you forgot the empress of light and the queen slime it's like bro come on just look at the date it takes like half a second even just like look at the gameplay like you there, you could tell a little bit between 1.3 and 1.4 especially aesthetically like 1.4 was such a big ambient update and just like how the game looks like you could tell bro just give it a second like, you think i'd be rocking this health bar if i was playing 1.4 nah i like the bars health bar and speak about the bars health bar people think that's a mod and that's not a vanilla feature in 1.4 that's crazy <laughs> all right next up we got the duke here see you later after the duke i think we should go ahead and start tapping into a bunch of the mini bosses uh i guess let's start with the martian saucer see you later okay it wasn't one tap you know I'm, I'm a little worried here and there when it comes to the bosses that have a bunch of segments but obviously this weapon is proving that segmented or not tier one tier two or not you're dying all in one swing all right let's take on the old ones army bosses starting with the dark mage now on to the my favorite out of all the old ones army bosses it's the ogre next up after that is of course betsy and see you later let's go ahead and take on the flying dutchman boom you know halloween passed somewhat recently not really it's almost december but let's go ahead and take on all the halloween bosses uh we do have the christmas bosses coming up for real and playing terraria oh he tried to get away playing terraria during christmas is always cool because you get some you get some dope ass weapons during christmas time dope ass weapons accessories you get the hand warmers which is that like the only accessory that's an exclusive accessory right there exclusive seasonal next up we got the ever scream look at the animations on the ever 
Survivor Scream. Let's let's give a round of applause because the update on this animation is fire, but we still gotta kill you. Next up is the Santa Tank or the Sand Tank or the Santa NK1. What's up? See you later. And last but not least from the Christmas event, the Ice Queen, she trying to run. You know, what's the, these last bosses in the events, they always try to run away, but you, you can't outrun the Sword of the Multiverse. You already know what time it is. It's time for the cultists and the pillars. Boom. Let's see if we can kill him right when he spawns in. Right now. Easy. I didn't use the health bar to show me when he uh, was killable. All right, now time to kill the pillars. Hopefully this time I have the pillars mod installed. I do. Hold up. If we line up all four pillars and I go like this, you think I'll kill all four of them? Because I think these projectiles infinitely go in one direction. Oh, wait, what the hell? Did this pillar not get one tap or am I just tripping? All right, but I'm going to just attack to the right with all the projectiles and let's see if we kill all of them. I don't know. We're, we're about to see. Uh, I think it'll tell us if we kill any more. I, I don't think it goes that far, even though, I don't know, I feel like we've been accidentally spawning in Queen Bees. Okay, maybe it doesn't go that far. They're dropping like these gigantic swords, but none of them obviously compare to the multiverse sword. But let's go over here. Let's just make sure that it's a one tap. I think I accidentally only hit like one projectile, but we got to make sure. Ooh, I, it still kills it, but it's, it's been the sussest one tap so far, which is surprising because it's been one tapping other bosses that, you know, we usually have to look at more than once to see if it one taps or not. But we still count it. I still count it. I think this sword is way too strong to not count it, but there you go. That's all four pillars. Now time to go do my taxes while I wait for the moon lord to spawn in because that takes a good like 50 minutes. He finally spawned in. All right, let's see here. Uh, obviously we're gonna one tap the eyes i wanted to get like a full one tap but that's kind of hard to do on the moon lord uh i bet i bet you could though right when the eye opens at the beginning you could probably hit the eye the hands and the the core all at the same time ba boom bada bing moon lord is dead let's move on to our modded bosses all right moving on to our first modded boss the primordials what's up boys i'm about to insta kill you guys but don't worry about that yet okay all right now you gotta worry about it getting a little loud in here oh no that's not a one tap i don't know bro that didn't feel like a one tap this, this is feeling like i have to swing multiple times here that felt like i had to swing multiple times on that boss unless i'm just remembering things wrong i think the last weapon we did didn't take multiple swings i don't know all right next up is abyssion we'll do uh multiple versions of abyssion we'll do this one Okay, he died instantly. He, he's usually the one that doesn't die instantly. But we'll check out the one without the shell, see if he dies instantly too. Yes, he does. Uh, well, I should have expected that. But that's interesting. We got an interesting outcome from that because Abyssion usually survives like, with like one health. All right, but you know what time it is. Whoa, what the hell? Fargo's got some interesting bosses in here. Look at some of these. Champion of Earth? Champions of Shadow? Champions of Spirit? Like, what the hell was that thing? Uh, I didn't know Fargo's was cooking up with some uh, bosses over here. Yeah, let us move on to the Calamity mod bosses. I gotta go install the mod. All right, let us take on the big dogs from Calamity here. And when I say say dog i legit mean dog the devourer of gods our first boss here now this dude he, he puts up a little resistance every now and then but i don't think he's gonna put any resistance up against this sword let's see oh, he lived i'm not even on god mode oh god i'm surprised he lived maybe i just did a bad swing and i didn't hit his tail and head at the same time but apparently he lived that let's move on to phase two i don't think he's living phase two he's living phase two what the heck what about the tail? Oh my god, he's just he's just living. He's just living. I mean, he's still taking a lot of damage at the same time. There we go. It just took a couple swings, but I think it's dead, right? So far, it's not looking good for the sword of the multiverse against Calamity. I don't know, bro. It's looking kind of bad. We're heading over here to the jungle. We're going to take on the jungle dragon now. Now, this boss is always another boss where I don't know if he'll die quick or not. Let's see. Boom. Nope. That's that's not a death. That's, that's definitely surviving. So uh, let, let's check phase two. Phase two is always a question. All right, phase two, let's see it. Come back over here. 
Okay, absolutely not. And last but not least from Calamity in terms of bosses, I guess. Well, actually, there's still like two more things I want to test in this video. But let's see Supreme Cow. Obviously, if the last two bosses didn't get insta-killed, I don't think Supreme Cow is going to get insta-killed. I mean, we could, we could test it on the, the Sepulcher here. Sepulcher, see if he dies. Absolutely not. He usually never dies to anything. All right, Supreme Cow doesn't die it takes damage at least but it's it's not dying all right let us test our final two things i want to test here before we end the video off that is the idol on worm and the dungeon guardian we'll do the dungeon guardian first boom there's the dungeon guardian uh he died but it took a second i don't know why it took a second and last but not least the idol on worm i always forget which one to spawn in probably the one with more health boom didn't die okay Honestly, this this dude, he's always a mystery in whether or not he'll die. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of this series. Make sure to leave comments for other weapons you want me to test. But yeah, again, if you guys don't know, I am leaving to visit my brother for two weeks. Starting on the 29th of this month. And I'm going to be there until December 12th. So if any videos are weird or anything like that, my, my recording streaming schedule. Shoot, you already know my streaming schedule is off. I haven't streamed for like 20-something days. Just know that's why. But yeah, thank you for watching the video. Follow my Twitter, join my Discord, follow my Twitch, do all that. Thank you, bye-bye.